Uh, here we go. Hey everybody, how's it going? Nice to see you on this wonderful day. It is Solar Moon 17 Gamma. And the kin today is Kin 254, White Resonant Wizard. I channel in order to enchant, inspiring receptivity. I seal the output of timelessness with the resonant tone of attunement. I am guided by the power of death. And today we are going to check out the space matrix. And uh, she's how to build this, and as well as some tips as to how to memorize this more easily. And uh, so this is the 441 matrix and stuff. We'll be making other videos going more into the backstory and things like that. But for today, I'm just going to focus on the space matrix. And the reason for that is because uh, it's kind of a more complicated one to explain with all the tips. And, you know, being able to convey this information in an understanding way. It's a good time for it. At least as far as, uh, uh, for me, astrologically. So I'm going to take advantage of this energy and just go with the flow while I'm inspired to do this at this point in time. So, space matrix. Divided into four 10 by 10 quadrants equals 400, or 20 squared. 11th vertical axis and 11th horizontal are the dividers containing 41 units total. 400 plus 41 is 441. The four quadrants are further organized as four sets of 8 by 8, 64 units, with 36 units external in each quadrant. This accommodates the Psybank codons in four arrangements as kin 1 to 256. 1 to 64, upper left, 65 to 128, upper right, 129 to 192, lower left, 193 to 256, lower right, always in the same Psybank sequence. 257, 258, 259, 260 are at corners adjacent to 441 in the center. Right. So, uh, so we're going to be memorizing stuff for today. And now, yeah, like the way that you would want to telepathically imprint or build this is the same way that you would with the 441 matrix. Uh, it is of note that you don't need to build it in a pyramid every time you do. Although it is uh, pretty effective and awesome to do it as a pyramid. Uh, doing this pattern as a pyramid requires a lot more effort and concentration. And uh, the goal is to do these things in incremental steps. So you just do a few things at a time. Memorize and do what you think you're capable of doing Whether it's you know literally building it as you literally look at the page in front of you, which is uh, usually the first step Until you can do it and you know the pattern and you can do it in your own mind and then after that when you're really good at placing the numbers and feeling them in the opposite portion of your brain simultaneously then you can do it like a pyramid Right, and so in those concepts, I'm going to go over more on them in uh, probably the video called How to Build the 441 Matrix. Now let's jump into this. Um, we don't even need to look at this now, but if you look at this pattern, the red, and it might look kind of confusing at first, but it is very... A very organized set of numbers. I meant to look into this more, but I think it's called the Benjamin Franklin's Magic Square of Eight. And no matter what way you uh, add these up, I believe they add up to 252. Check in the back of the book here. Okay. No, they all add up to 260. 
So it's the same thing pretty much, same numbers, same order. And every square adds up to 260. Now let's uh, go back to this. Now uh, when you build this, you can choose to either go from 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So 1 to 64, 65 to 128, 129 to 192, 193 to 256. And then after you do that, you can do the, these, you know, kind of surrounding numbers. Or you can do those ones first. I used to always do it like that. And uh, it's pretty effective either way. This one, uh, never mind, time for another video. Anyways, so we got, got our space matrix here. Blank canvas for us. And uh, try to do things at the same time. Sitting on the floor here. So. We got all these numbers. Now, I'm gonna start off with the outside and how to get that, uh, that pattern. So one of the important things is that you don't need to know where all of these numbers are exactly. All you need to know is where a few of them are and to know the pattern. So, I wish I had a tripod. This would be so much easier. So, in the center. Starts out, we got 257 here. 258. 259. 260 and those are the extra ones from 64 times 4 is 256 plus these four in the middle and now the pattern for this like the direction it goes in the same direction as the space matrix so always top left top right bottom left bottom right and then you get to know this kind of specific pattern. So it starts out over here, goes around, up, down, switches over to there, up, across, down, to there. Then it crosses over, around that, over here, all the way around that border. And then after that, it does the same uh, pattern for like the time matrix, if you know those lattices. So that one, it goes left, right, down, up. Left, right, down, up. Just like when you're playing, uh, you know, video games like Grand Theft Auto and you gotta do left, right, down, up, left, right, down, up, R1, R2, etc. to get your cheat codes. Uh, once you get the pattern and you remember it, all's going good. So, 261, first number there. Now, I'm not going to write every single number down here. I'm just going to focus and uh, bring us to the numbers that are going to help you. The pattern, essentially. So, whenever you go from like one of these ones to there... You add 8 or minus 8, whatever you're doing. So, because there's the border there, so there's 8 spaces there, 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 there. So that's you do plus 8. So 261 plus 8, 269. Now, when you're going from here, like on the outside ones, it's plus nine. So 269 plus nine, 278, 
278 plus 9 is 287. And then, since all these ones are also plus 9. So if you can remember that, that'll help you a lot. So, going through the numbers here, trying to write and get the camera right, and be in a good place at the same time. Okay, so we got 278, 287, boom, then we go plus 8, 295. Start again, 296, plus 8, 304, plus 9, 313, plus 9, 322. plus eight, 330. And uh, uh, like, once you work with it, like, uh, like adding up the telepathic frequencies in your head every day, this becomes like a lot easier. And I've been doing that for a while now. So then after that, we got those. Let me go across, 330, 331. And we got 339 plus, so it's plus 8. 348 plus 9. 357 plus 9. And so plus 8 brings us to 365. Then 366. 366 plus 8. 374, 374 plus 9, 383, and 383 plus 9 is 392, and then 392 plus 8, 400. So there we got those. And uh, as I said, um, Say this at the start, it'd be recommended to go over this video multiple times and then, you know, learn the pattern for yourself because uh, it's really through doing it on your own that you imprint these telepathic codes into your subconscious. So then, 400. Then we go over to here. As I said before, it follows the same pattern as the time matrix. So it goes that way. So we got 401 over here. And these ones are pretty, uh, it's easy because they're always like the same circuit. Not that you never really have to add up telepathic frequencies on some of these channels. 402, 403, etc. You get it. Brings us up to 410. And after that, it goes to this side. So we got 411. It goes up to 420. 421. Down here, 4.30. Then down here, 4.31. And 4.40. And then we got the center, 4.41. So there we have here, those are literally all of this coordinates that you need to, the only ones that you need to know to, to do these outer parts of this space matrix. And, uh, you know, from uh, the mantra of the yogi, the white mirror, practice alone brings knowledge and wisdom. 
So, now we're going to get into the fun part, which is the four quadrants. And we're going to start things off with up here. So, uh, the way this pattern goes, I'm going to try to show you as multiple times to see like uh, when you're just looking at it it can be very confusing Give me a sec. but if you're looking at the whole thing yeah it can look confusing but once I show you here you'll be able to catch on to the pattern and you'll know that you only have to really work with a few parts of it at once and you'll get what I was saying in a little bit so start out here one two three four so we went that way diagonal then we like come back here and we fill that in, but the opposite of what we just did. Five, six, seven, eight. So what do we see here? Yeah, they're diagonally offset, each one of them. And now, so, from here, it goes like this. Nine, 10, 11, 12, move over here, 13, 14, 15, 16. Hmm, even more interesting. So, if you're looking at just that, so that's like one of the, one of the halves if you cut it in half. Cut it into quadrants and eighths. So as you see, if you're doing the first 16 numbers, everything is by 16, by the way, in this. You've like, you know, it's like, ch -ch -ch. you got a distinct pattern here that's, you know, it's like every other and offset diagonally. So let's continue this pattern. So now we're going to fill in the the bottom quadrant. 17, 18, 19, 20. Move over and do the opposite. 21, 22, 23, 24. So we did, so it's like we did the, uh, the outside of that. Now we're going to continue the pattern. 25, 26, 27, 28. Move over to the opposite. 29, 30, 31, 32. So the first sequence we did ended on 16. The second sequence ended on 32. And uh, so those are really key things. I'm gonna go into later how uh, you can, 16s are like the, I feel like the most efficient way of memorizing and being able to locate any number you want in the space matrix. And you'll see why. So 16's there, 32's there. And so we're going to continue the sequence. So, as we, see, uh, like before, filled in kind of half on an offset diagonal. So now the pattern goes like this. So a lot of it is like you do the same thing and then you do the opposite same thing and then uh, you, flip, you keep flipping and mirroring it. And I guess the only way to 
really learn this pattern is to actually do it. So, 33, 34. Move over here, 35, 36. Then, so we just did that, move over, and do the opposite. 37, 38, 39, 40. And now we are going to move to the outside and do that part. The next part, segment. 41, 42, 43, 44. Then we move over, do the opposite, 45, 46, 47, 48. So now we have our next multiple of 16 here. So we got 16, 32, 48. Now we're going to end it with the last half of the 16s. So we got 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 53, 54, 55, 56. Now we got the last part to do. And as we can see, that's pretty, uh, it's, uh, it's just awesome. So 57, 58, 59, 60. Move over and do the opposite. 61, 62, 63, 64. And that closes out the sequence. And, uh, you know, like I said, this video, I recommend uh, looking at it again and uh, drawing the same pattern, like uh, take it out for yourself, do an eight by eight grid, and you'll start to see how you only need to get certain parts of it at once. So now, I got some telepathic frequencies here too, for what Kin 151, in case you're one of those. This is just uh, one of my old notebooks and I have no free pages of this uh, kind of paper left. So um, I'm gonna go more in, well, I guess I didn't finish how to build this. So once you do one set of 64, you continue on the next quadrant. And you start from this quadrant, and go to this one, and go to this one, then go to that one. And each of these will be the exact same sequence. So that being said, if one starts there, and 64 is the last one there, 65 is going to be in the same place as one. 66, 67, 68. What do I say? Move over and do the opposite. 69, 70, 71, 72. Move up. 73, 74, 75, 76. Move over and do the opposite. 77, 78. Hans mine. 79, 80. So the same pattern repeats itself. 
And likewise, if you wanted to find out whatever your uh, whatever any particular kin is in the DNA code sequence, you would just take whatever number and minus 64 until it's under that. So let's say, I don't know, 144. So 144 would be 16 because you would do 128 minus, you know, 144 minus 128. So 16 is there, 144 is going to be right there. And so, let us continue with uh, what I was saying with the 16s. If you know the 16s, you always know which, uh, which one of these you're going to be in. And by those, <laughs> whatever those things I'm talking about, I'm going to color code them now. So you'll know what I'm saying. I wish I did this in advance, but I didn't. So we're just going to do this real fast. So let's say we're, what we're doing here is dividing this 8x8 eight eight quadrant, eight, this 8x8 eight eight square into four quadrants, but not the quadrants like this, the quadrants of 0 to 16, 17 to 32, 33 to 48, and 49 to 64. So that's the first one, the red zone. That one we find by the multiples of 64. So you'll always either start with 1, 65, 129, or 193. So essentially the multiples of 16 plus one. Now let's move on. The next set of 16, which goes from here. Wow, the pink is like the same color as the red. Good thing I used it on the other quadrant. I'm not even gonna use it. Here, we get black pencil. So then we have the next quadrant of 16. So by the way, when I am locating a number in the space matrix, or I find a BMU, and I want to find out where it is on the space matrix, this is essentially the, um, the first question that I'm asking myself in my head. It's which one of these four quadrants is this particular number located in? And sometimes I'm doing it by the number. Other times I'm doing it by the coordinates. It all depends on what seems easier at the time. And so here's the next quadrant of 16 this offset diagonal and as you can see that when you uh, when you break down this pattern into you know that's organized it's organized way then uh, it becomes a little more easy to understand time perfects over a long space of time But we can also make giant leaps of evolution in a few moments of focused energy and willpower. Now we got the last set of 16 here. If you know these, you'll know how to find where things are in this pattern.
I'll sniffle for a while. Leaning over like this isn't helping. So there we have it. Separated like that. And as I said, it's through the 16s that you're always going to know. So let's say, you know, 16 there. 17. It's like, um, I'll kind of go from this one. So if there's a number there, let's say, I'll go and be like, okay, 16. That one there, that's where we're after. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 28 is there. Is it there? Yeah, that's where 28 is. And uh, it's like it's faster doing this in your head than saying it and writing it and stuff. So, and then, so that's a coordinating number, 16. Then the next one, 32. I know it's there and I know that's the last one of the gray of this quadrant. So let's say I'm trying to find the number 46. Now, either I can go from here, from 32, or I can go from 48, which is the end of the green sequence. So you can go 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Wow, I messed that up. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Or you could, if you know the pattern and you got the opposite, you can just go 48, 47, 46. And uh, as I said, um, avoid trying to get overwhelmed by this. It, uh, it does take a little bit of effort to learn, but by all means, it's achievable to do this in uh, a couple hours or an hour or even less the first time you're doing it. So more power to you, to everybody. Okay. So now that we got those. All right, let's change it out. My ankles are kind of getting sore. One, minute, one moment, actually, I'm gonna go get some water. 